Well, at this hour tonight, right now, 27 hours after Donald Trump was told that he had just become the first former president in history charged with federal crimes, including violations of the Espionage Act, the Trump criminal defense team is in chaos. The Trump criminal defense lawyer who called Donald Trump at 7 p.m. last night to tell him that he was indicted by prosecutors in the executive branch of the government that he once controlled, resigned or was fired this morning, along with another criminal defense lawyer who also resigned or was fired this morning. Last night, after the indictment was announced, the lead criminal defense lawyer in the case of the United States of America versus Donald J. Trump said this. Even if he talks about those documents or talks about the existence of them, that is light years away from the, from the specific intent that they need for an espionage case. And now that lawyer is gone. Anything the Trump defense lawyers have ever said publicly about what were then the possible charges against Donald Trump has turned out to be completely wrong now that we see the actual charges against Donald Trump. Donald Trump is now charged with 37 counts, all felonies. The crimes include obstruction of justice and violations of the Espionage Act. The indictment is better written and reads more clearly and easily than anything else you might have read about this case. It includes stunning photographs of the way the indictment says Donald Trump illegally kept government documents at his Florida residence, showing just how insecurely the documents were maintained and how vulnerable and likely the documents were to be obtained or examined by people with or without Donald Trump's knowledge and without the knowledge of the Secret Service, who were always there for the sole purpose of protecting the former president, not protecting the documents. The indictment points out, quote, Trump did not inform the Secret Service that he was storing boxes containing classified documents at the Mar-a-Lago Club. The document includes, the, the indictment includes these quotations from Donald Trump while he was running for president in 2016 against Hillary Clinton on the issue of protection of classified information. In my administration, I'm going to enforce all laws concerning the protection of classified information. No one will be above the law. We also need to fight this battle by collecting intelligence and then protecting, protecting our classified secrets. We can't have someone in the Oval Office who doesn't understand the meaning of the word confidential or classified. One of the first things we must do is to enforce all classification rules and to enforce all laws relating to the handling of classified information. We also need the best protection of classified information. Service members here in North Carolina have risked their lives to acquire classified intelligence to protect our country. Each of those statements appear tonight in the indictment against Donald Trump. Donald Trump's own public comments after leaving office about the documents prove that he did not mean anything that you just heard him say about classified information when he was running against Hillary Clinton. Why did you take those documents with you when you left the White I House? I had every right to under the Presidential Records Act. You have the Presidential Records Act. I was there and I took what I took and it gets declassified. I took the documents I'm allowed to. Did you ever show those classified documents to anyone? Not really. I would have the right to. By the way, they were declassified what do you mean not really? after. Not, not that I can think of. Let me just tell you, I have the absolute right to do whatever I want with them. I have the right. Do you still have any? We now know why. Donald Trump said he could show those documents to people. Did you ever show those classified documents to anyone? Not really. I would have the right to. By the way, they were declassified what do you mean not really? after. Not, not that I can think of. 
According to the indictment, Donald Trump showed classified documents to at least two people. The first person described in the indictment, who was shown a classified document by Donald Trump, said, uh, said wow, when the person saw that document. We know, we, and we know all of that, because that conversation was actually recorded. The audio recording includes Donald Trump telling the person, this is secret information. Look, look at this. Six and a half months ago, when Special Prosecutor Jack Smith was appointed by Attorney General Merrick Garland, there, were, there was some loud disappointment among some people who believed that this would slow down the investigation of Donald Trump. Jack Smith literally did not say a word. He did not say anything to or about his doubters. He did not say anything about Donald Trump when Donald Trump attacked him repeatedly and his family. America never heard Jack Smith's voice until today. We all began this day expecting not to know anything about the contents of the indictment until Tuesday at 3 p.m. when Donald Trump will be arraigned in federal court in Miami. Then came the news that Jack Smith was finally going to speak at 3 p.m. today in Washington. Before Jack Smith stepped up to the microphone today, the 49-page indictment was made public so that by the time he spoke, many of us in the news media knew all of the details of the case that he has brought against Donald Trump. Jack Smith, in the last six and a half months, has asked for not one minute of our attention, literally not one minute, while others, including myself, have talked endlessly about his work. And today, when Jack Smith entered that room where he would finally speak, the suspense was thick, even just on the matter of what does this man sound like. Jack Smith, when his time came, asked something of all of you. He asked you to read his work. He asked you to read the 49 pages, which are very, very easy to read. I want to keep stressing that. That is all he asks of you after his six and a half months of work. Jack Smith, when he finally spoke, said this. Today, an indictment was unsealed, charging Donald J. Trump with felony violations of our national security laws, as well as participating in a conspiracy to obstruct justice. Adherence to the rule of law is a bedrock principle of the Department of Justice, and our nation's commitment to the rule of law sets an example for the world. We have one set of laws in this country, and they apply to everyone. 